Hello, dear friends. This news comes with some scare, but I don't think it's too worrying. Opinion piece. Sun is very weight. Solar anomaly. New solar cycle. Power reversal. Before the end of the year. Solar maximum in 2025. Science says it's normal. There was a radio blackout in April. Let's start. The sun is about to lose something very important. Its magnetic poles, according to the Space Weather Agency, Space Weather. And this news is not esoteric, but purely official scientific. Recent measurements by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory reveal a rapid awakening of magnetic fields in the polar regions of the Sun. The North and South magnetic poles are about to disappear. This would lead to a reversal of the Sun's magnetic field, perhaps before the end of the year. The possible disappearance of the magnetic poles would mean that we are on the verge of solar maximum. At its most active point, called solar maximum, the Sun is dotted with spots and its magnetic poles are reversed. The equivalent of Earth would be as if the north and south poles changed every decade. Solar cycle 25 is shaping up to be stronger than forecasters expected, and its peak could be relatively intense. Solar cycle 25 is in full development, which began in 2019 and will end in 2030, and humankind is experiencing its effect. According to NASA, we will reach solar maximum in 2025. Each cycle has an upward curve with a corresponding crest, which indicates that there are more spots on the Sun's surface, and therefore it is as at its maximum activity, and it also has a through which reflects a minimum of activity with fewer spots. Effects. If this were happening, there would be an enormous on Earth. Past reversals of our, planet, of our planet's magnetic field have been linked to calamities ranging from sudden weather change to the extinction of Neanderthals. In mid-April, the Earth was caught in the middle of a geomagnetic storm, which caused a severe shortwave radio blackout in Southeast Asia and Australia. With increased single activity, Space weather events such as solar flares increase, affecting radio communications, power grids, and navigation signals. In addition, significant risks are posed to spacecraft, satellites, and astronauts. The violent release of electromagnetic radiation on the surface of the Sun travels through space and reaches the Earth, and this could have consequences in many ways from affecting satellites, GPS systems, high radio frequencies, communication systems, power plant operations, or aviation security. However, Todd Hoeksima, a solar physicist at Stanford University, says this phenomenon is routine and happens every 11 years or so, when we are on the edge of solar maximum. In every solar cycle, fleeting poles and magnetic reversals around the solar maximum have been observed since astronomers learned to measure the Sun's magnetic field. But he adds that one thing we have learned in decades of data is that no two polar field reversals are the same. Sometimes the transition is rapid, and it takes only a few months for the poles to disappear and reappear at opposite ends of the Sun. Sometimes it takes years, leaving the Sun without magnetic poles for an extended period. What even stranger, 
Hoeksema says, sometimes one pole changes before the other, leaving both poles with the same polarity for a while. In fact, such a scenario could be happening now. The south magnetic pole of the sun has almost completely disappeared, but the north magnetic pole still persists, although very weak. One way we feel solar field reversals is through the heliospheric current sheet. The sun is surrounded by a wavy ring of electricity that draws in the solar wind and extends it to the edge of the solar system. And this structure is part of the sun's magnetosphere. During field reversals, the current sheet becomes very wavy and very tilted. As the sun rotates, we move in and out of increasingly pronounced undulations. Passing from one side to the other can cause geomagnetic storms and the northern lights. Auroras. Comment. Although sunspot cycles have been recorded for millennia, it was not until 1755 that the count of the 11 year periods that marked the minimum and maximum of solar magnetic activity began to be statistically, statistically followed. That is why during the last 265 years, only 24 solar cycles have been recorded. As mentioned in the news, the reversal of the sun's magnetic poles is a periodic phenomenon that occurs once every 11 years, coinciding with the solar cycle. This cycle is a natural part of the sun's behavior and has always been observed. An interesting aspect is the variability in the solar pole reversal process. Sometimes this process is quick and complete, while other times it may take longer or even present situations where one pole changes before the other. Although the reversal of the sun's magnetic poles would not produce a reversal of our own magnetic field, it could affect us in other ways. Changes in the solar magnetic field can influence solar wind activity and geomagnetic storms on our planet, which in turn can affect satellite communications power grids and auroras. The news notes that solar cycle 25 is expected to be stronger than initially anticipated. This could have implications for the intensity of solar storms and their impact on Earth. So it is important to continue monitoring and studying these events. In short, the disappearance of the sun's magnetic poles is a natural cyclical phenomenon that scientists have observed for a long time, although it doesn't necessarily imply an imminent danger to us. It is important to continue researching this to better understand its impact on our space and technological environment. Messages. Daily message from Kesharash. Know that you are being bathed in the purest light of the stars. Remain heart centered as your spiritual as you spiral into higher timelines. You will see blackouts on the human resonance scale more frequently in the future. Opinion of Logan Logan B. What we expect from the grey and white hats is that they finish the arrangements to launch VR or RV. The Galactics are now the well caught have said they will arrest you if you don't keep your promise to do this. Our patience ran out a long time ago. When this is done, the darkness and grey colour will be forgotten as if nothing had happened in the last 200 years. Critical message from Raksha. Life can be had. The missionaries of light have done much to sow truth and higher consciousness into the collective consciousness. I had it was a big success. I also had that the light servants are scattered across the plant for maximum effectiveness. That makes sense, but it can be very lowly down here. And there are some missionaries of light 
who are still full of enthusiasm and passion for life, and bless them. There are also some that are out of stock. When one is a little depressed and it is difficult to find a friendly space to express authentic feelings, the spiritual community is quick to reproach them for being negative or bad vibration. And the sleeping environment is quick to offer them advice or inadequate solutions to their problems without taking the time to understand them or even listening to them. When things go wrong, professionals get advice and medicine, but who can understand it? Who even cares to listen? Who can understand that we have a shining vision, that our soul pushes us in an invisible direction? We still have faith, but the enthusiasm has faded in many of us, and no one is able to listen to our authentic feelings and thoughts, unless we want to be labeled crazy and end up even more isolated. This whole situation is too complicated for most of us to understand. At our current stage, we lack data to make an enlightened opinion, but as the years go by, our crisis increases and our contribution decreases. Curious. Scientists have created a medicine to grow new teeth. They said earlier that we have a potential third row of teeth that could come in. Bolivia and Peru are on alert after recording the lowest historical water level in Lake Titicaca. The Smithsonian Institution admits it destroyed thousands of giant human skeletons in the early 20th century. The organization was involved in a historical concealment of giant human remains around the world. The museum's job was not to show history and fill in the gaps, but to hide what was not convenient. Hydrogen, fuel of the future. Hydrogen is an element that is used to store, conserve, and transport energy. It is considered a promising energy vector for the development of zero emissions economy. On September 22nd, the International Energy Agency predicted that global production of green hydrogen could rise from 1 million tons in 2022 to 20 million tons per year in 2030. A large number of projects are being developed to produce this type of hydrogen. The CIRAS predicted that Nibiru would be visible by 2021, and recent photographs of Planet X and its dark twin show that these approaching planets are not secret. Stunning a large image of Nibiru was posted on the Zeta Rock fan site and the pole shift event on June 15th. The Siberian photograph showed the contrast between land and water, a surprising revelation that coincided with a close-up of said star captured in Italy that shows the planet wrapped in cream-colored clouds, but the oceans can be guessed by the color layer that covers them. A teenager cuts down the most famous tree in the UK in an act of vandalism. A 16-year-old teenager was arrested for cutting this Sagamore Gap or Sagamore Tree next to the historic Hadrian's Wall, declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO, and built 1,900 years ago to protect the farthest northwestern border of the Roman Empire. The Sagamore is a fig tree typical of Egypt, with leaves somewhat similar to those of the moral tree, small yellowish white fruit and incorruptible wood, with which the ancient Egyptians used for the boxes where they enclosed the mummies. Located in the North Thumberland National Park in the north of England, it has been standing for about 300 years and is the most photographed tree in the UK. The tree became famous after appearing in 1991 
Kevin Costner film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.